This is Royal Television. We inspire. For those of you who may not know, and I doubt that there are many who do not know this, 
My career as an actress began with my first movie, When the Sun Sets, in 1993. Since then, I've been in over hmm, 100 movies, performed in several stage productions, like the Vagina Monologues, um, plenty, plenty, so many stage productions, and I've received recognition for doing what I love. However, I've always sought to leave this world a better place than I met it, and to lend my voice to issues that I am passionate about. I don't know how best to go about doing this. Do I start a charity? Where will I find time to run a charity? What do I know about running a charity? What experience did I have? What will my charity focus on? Since the issues I'm passionate about are so numerous, and everything needs solving out there. In the end, I decided, why replicate what is already existing? Why not lend my voice as potential to several issues that I'm passionate about? Be it lending my voice, my time, my resources. Over the years, I've been involved with various charities, including Project Alert and Violence Against Women and Children, very dear to my heart. This is a scourge that I have vowed to lend my voice to, if, if need be, stand in the front of the battle and let my life be taken just to make sure there's zero tolerance and violence against women and children. <laughs> National Cervical Cancer Prevention Program and most recently the Global Initiative for Peace, Love and Care. In looking back at my career over the last 20 years, I'm humbled by how far I've come. I know the best is yet to come. In commemorating this important milestone in the industry, I decided to take you all, my friends, my well wishers, and distinguished guests, on a journey of what has been in a photo book titled The World of an Actress, My Story. And to also use this auspicious occasion to raise the much needed funds to support the charities that are closest to my heart, thereby enabling them to continue the great work that they are doing in their local communities. I would like to urge you to give one book, two books, give something, give generously by purchasing copies of the photo book of which proceeds will be given to the aforementioned charities. Also, engaging from the clips, uh, your reactions from the clips, all of you are taking you down memory lane. A lot of us in Nollywood, people are pointing, Shekou's neck very long, by such neck long, Ramsey, unrecognizable. This is where we all started our journey with people like Chico Ichiro, Zebe Ichiro, Peter Red Ichiro, Kingsley Ogoro, where we're struggling with our better cam and VHS all over the place. We've lost a lot of people. Late Sam Lokwefe, he was in that movie, Scars of Womanhood, Uncle Justice Siri, JT Tom West, Christy Essien in Bukwe, she played my mother in Scars of Womanhood. So many lives lost, but they've left a legacy behind. And I'm one person who likes to keep things. So I hope that in this book, I will take you down from where we started to where we're going to. Thank you for your time and your attention. May God bless you all.
I swear, I swear I've not had sex with her today. I have never met this woman before, I swear. publisher of Royal Times of Nigeria newspapers and the publisher of the book Kate and Shaw, The World of an Actress, My Story. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to today's event and I thank you all for coming all the way to join us in making today a success. It's been a pleasure working with Kate and writing the story of her humble beginning in faraway Calabar, South South Nigeria, to her early days in Surole, Lagos, southwest of Nigeria. Throughout the times of this project, I want to thank Kate for being open and for being so transparent in providing all the information we required to make the book a success. And today, looking at the story of her life and the success that she has made out of her career, it's a pleasure for us in Royal Times to write the story about the challenges of life and what she has made out of life, so that it can serve as an inspiration for many more people of her time 
and of our generation. And today we are proud to see what Kate has been able to do, not just for herself, but for the Nollywood industry, where she's playing a leading role as one of the most preferred actresses of the time. I also thank members of my editorial team who work with me around the clock to ensure that we have a book that is worthy and that tells the story. I wish you all a happy reading and safe journey back to your various destinations. Thank you. because they've come out to uh, support me, to uh, know that I'm trying to, you know, continue to contribute my beat to those who do not have, those who can not otherwise help themselves. It's not about being a diva. It's not about being a beauty queen. It's about your heart. And that's what God looks at. When we touch other people, even if it's your neighbor, you will remember it for so long, so, so long. And I always put it at the back of my mind that a good name is far better than riches. Royal Times, you rock! You, be, you are the publishers of my book. These people are great. If they can support Kitesha, ha, people are on a good thing. Royal Times, I want to thank you. I want to ask that God blesses your business, every branch that you open, everything that you set your hands to do. If you have celebrated me, celebration will never cease from your house. Just watch out. And she is a remarkable professional. She's a delight to work with. Her standards are very high. She's always on time. She's professional. And she shows a commitment and a passion to the brand. She doesn't just take her fee and run. She is part of the Promacador family. And, um, and the other thing, of course, is she's very caring and she supports some of our charities and we're very happy to, to be here today to support uh, Project Alert, which is uh, against violence against women and the other charities as well. Uh, so she's a marvellous person. Whenever you're on set with her, she's always with this broad smile that I've never seen with anybody. Always, I've never seen her, you know, go angry. All you see around her is smiles. Um, she puts everything, she gives everything into any job she's in and just wonderful. You can see from the turnout of people that she invited, people just came out to honor her and I'm glad I'm here too as well. She's a superstar that um, understands what being a superstar is, shining light into people's causes that a lot of other people wouldn't have taken seriously but for her. You know, now there are going to be like a whole lot more people thanking God that Kate was successful. She has a very good heart. All she thinks about is how to help, but then again, how, like she would always say, how many people can you really help? That shows you that she wants to go out there to reach as much people as she can reach, make as much impact as she can make, and just give, give, give everything. She, she just loves to give. And I honestly do appreciate it. And this is a brilliant work. This is a stepping stone for each and every one of us here in Hollywood and, you know, and every other things we're doing to take a cue and borrow a leaf from her. She's got a big heart, you know. What I love about Kate, apart from her voice, her ringing voice, you know, apart from her, the skills that she exhibits, she's so real. You know, she's come in front of my camera so many times and uh, it's amazing, you know how she radiates all that positivity and effortlessly you see when you have when you're confident in yourself effortlessly she's effortlessly kit great you know the funny thing life's so funny i i saw her start i saw her start um i remember when i was uh, when she was a model and then um 
I was doing a musical video, I was directing a musical video then for a friend of mine and uh, we were looking for models to be in the video and um, somebody recommended her and then we used it on the video, the video was called Jokes Apart and um, we shot and she was then in the University of Lagos, actually the medical school, medical college and she was studying and I just saw her go and next thing she was doing movies and it's, uh, she did the first one with uh, Hint magazine, the very popular one and she hadn't looked back ever since and it's been a, a, a very very blossoming career for her, I'm very proud of her, very, she's somebody that's after my heart. After she came on the show, it was fantastic. People were sending me mails. When is she going to come up again? She was a lovely person. I had lots of things to do today. But I said I was going to be here because I wanted to celebrate her. I just love her like that. Hmm, what can I tell you about Kate that has not been said over and over and over again? You know, Kate has a colleague of mine. We've come a long way, way before Nollywood. You know, we modeled together before we both came into Nollywood. And through the years, 20 years plus, Kate has been an open book. You know, she's just what you see is what you get with Kate. Kate, um, she's a wonderful person, and even though she's a very, very, very talented actress, she is extremely humble, extremely down to earth, and a genuine person. that I'm here because I know you would kill me if I didn't come. I'm so proud of you and just keep doing your thing girl and I'm here to support you through whatever. Love. For me, this is always, I mean, it's still the starting point, <laughs> you know, um, the sky is always the limit, you know, she's, uh, the way she's been doing it, <laughs> the way she's been doing it, and the way she has stayed relevant for years, she should just carry on like that, she's a very humble person, you know, she has a good head on her shoulders, and those things are key, so uh, all I'm going to say is remain the way you are, and um, the blessings will keep rolling in. Well done, my sister. But you're done with all the other things and it's time to move on to next achievement. Kate Henshaw, I'm so proud of you. Henshaw, I love you so much. I respect you so much. You're a wonderful actress. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't listen to haters. They're bound to be there. Keep up the good work. Uh, ignore uh, the, the, the issues people will talk about. Um, and don't... What's the word now? I'm trying to coin the word. Never let go. Kate, I love you. You are the best. Keep being the best. You're my best friend, and I'm your best friend. And I'll never let you down. But I believe that you have done something here today, not just because you have written a book. Um, it's mostly a photo book. But I know that for you, it's just more than a book. It's just more than another attempt to be out there and to produce something. It's an effort to reach out to people. And I think this is um, the reason we're gathered today. Because Kate has directed the attention away from her and to just causes, to causes that will promote, help, and uh, maybe reinvent the lives of, uh, of people. And I'm sure, like you would know, that Kate has dedicated the proceedings of this launch to charity. That is a very classy coffee table book. It's a book that you need to put somewhere that everybody that comes into your house gets to see. And then it'll be like, oh, you know, oh, no, I was there at the launch. What do you mean? I saw her. I was actually, I picked the book from the launch, you know, so you can like rub it in that you know her. <laughs> yes, 10 over 10. Anything. Kate lays her hands on. It's always the best. So nothing short of 90 and above. Oh, it's nine out of ten for sure. I think from the packaging, it's quite fantastic, and um, they don't give anybody. 100% means it's perfect, so 95% <laughs> is okay, right? I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. It's Kate Henshaw. I'm not. I know I'm not going to be disappointed. It is Kate Henshaw. Ten over. If I 11 over 10. Let me ask you that question now. Let me turn the question around. Have you seen the book? <laughs> You, you published the book. Did you see me in the book? Well, all I have to say now, I said in the book, 
She's my best friend. She's the best person. It's a beautiful effort. But like I say, whatever you do in life, whatever form of achievement you want to mold, it's really nothing if you don't tie some form of humanity to it. My preachment and my goal, of my drive has always been to find in us that spirit that would make us more humane than human. And I think this is what this book represents. For a humble lady who started when she was just very young, and she, for, to turn into an icon that she is, and to realize that the celebration of her life should not be concentrated on who she is, but on what she can give to others. On the other side of the coin, I like to say, avoid every photograph in that book that showed my ostrich neck. I haven't yet. And that is an abomination. So where is it? one. And act like I've seen it. Yes, yes, see. Peek okay. and see. Check it out. Check it out. Picture. 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 Yes, yes. I have to buy one anyway. I think, yeah. I'm acting, oh. Film, oh, film, oh. Film. It's a movie. No, but seriously, I'll get the book. I need to. Yeah, but you guys, I didn't know I had to bring checkbook. I had my. Um, pledge. Pledge. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. 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 The quality so far, just the first page, I would say is a hundred, it's a hundred out of ten. Ten, ten. I'll give it ten because this is the first. This is the first, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a first. Okay. It's the history of Nollywood like nobody has seen in pictures. That's the way I see it because I'm I'm seeing things that happened 18, 19 years ago. I, I think I saw a picture of Zach Oji and his wife when they were. I think it was his first time on set or something. I don't know. It was a really old film, and I'm like, wow, that's a legend right there. And I and I I, I see a picture of him when he was still new. You know, so it's awesome.